got to know everybody, welcome to another video of the YouTube channel where you don't miss a layout. My name is Jeremy and welcome to Jeremy's World World. So guys, we saw from today's title, today's video is going to be another unboxing video. And its unboxing is going to be of the Spiny Flower Mantis, which I bought from Mantis Mayhem. Now guys, if you don't know who Mantis Mayhem are, they're a really great company and I actually have made a video about them before when I bought their £10 mystery box. So if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend checking it out on my channel. So today's video is really self-explanatory. I'm going to be unboxing the Spiny Flam Mantis and showing it to you guys as well as how I'm going to be housing it. So before I get into today's video guys, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. First thing is, according to my YouTube statistics, I know you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you don't miss out on future content. Now the second thing is, when I hit 100 subscribers guys, I announced I'm doing a UK giveaway. So if you're based in the UK and you want to take part, I'll leave the thumbnail around here. Click the video on my channel to find out how to take part. So without further ado guys, let's get into today's video. Don't you just hate it when Royal Mail are late again, when your package is supposed to be here by one o'clock. Ah, but what can you do guys? Just gotta sit here and wait for that Royal Mail van to turn up. So two and a half hour delay guys. As you can see, the package has finally arrived. So let's get into the unboxing, shall we? Now for the more exciting part of today's video guys, the unboxing part. So before I get into showing you the contents of today's box, I just want to explain why I purchased the Spiny Flower Mantis. There's a couple reasons for this, and one being when I watched Sam from Bug Realms' review on Mantis Mayhem, I saw that he got some fruit flies, and the quality of the fruit flies were really, really good. So I needed fruit flies to feed my jumping spider, as well as I can give to my ants and my mantids. I decided to get some from Mantis Mayhem, and whilst I was there, I picked up the Spiny Flower Mantis. And the second reason is that because Dice, my giant Asian mantis, has unfortunately passed away. If you saw on Instagram, I did say that she did pass away. So I had a spare enclosure open and I put my Indonesian double shield mantis in there instead. And the enclosure that it was in is now going to go for the spiny flower mantis. So getting into the unboxing guys, I already cut open the box just to avoid shaking off the camera when I'm cutting the box open. And as you can see here guys, their lovely business card with all their information on the back their website, their Facebook, and their business email. So if you want to go check them out, use this information. This information will also be down in the description below. So getting into the contents of the box, as you can see here, guys, here are the fruit flies. And as you can see, just, I got the medium size, the Turkish gliders, and there seems to be uh, quite a few um, flies in here. It looks like a more fresh culture. And as you can see, there are the maggots for the flies and there are quite a few flies in here. So I'll probably uh, not feed these guys for a little while just so the numbers can build up a bit more. But as you can see here, guys, there is the uh, maggots or larvae and the cocoons. These will probably hatch into flies very, very soon. There's a few dead flies in here, but that's okay. And uh, fresh, this food stuff that they feed to the flies. And yeah, so that's the live food. So let's move on to the more exciting bit. Here it is, as you see here guys, here is the Spiny Flower Mantis Pseudocrobotra Walburgi. So here it is in all of its glory. Oh, check it out. Just the most tiniest little guy or girl, who knows. But as you can see, when they're younger, they have a more brown color. And as they grow up, I'll probably throw a picture up around here of what an adult looks like. They completely change color and oh, wow. So I'll get this little guy out. I'll get some better footage of you guys for you guys. And I'll probably show you some, yeah, some probably some B-roll footage. Haven't done that in a while. So yeah, so let's get some B-roll footage of this little guy, shall we? on to the rehousing part of this video guys i hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of footage that i did record of the spiny flower mantis it's really really small and so so cute and i can't wait to see what it looks like when it's fully grown so just a quick look at the enclosures i'm housing in of course it's a 32 ounce cup that i used to house the 
Indonesian Double Shield Mantis in. I pretty much left it the same except changed the label. As you can see, I did peel it off the cup that I did come in. So let's get into the rehousing. So just taking off the lid here and getting the little Mantis inside. So just one last little look inside the enclosure that it came in. Just taking this off. As you can see, super, super tiny, really fat abdomen. So I'm assuming it's gonna molt soon. So let's get it inside. I'm just gonna take the tissue out of the cup, pushing this, the tissue out so it can be exposed and just putting it onto the stick, hopefully. Oh, no, onto my hand and into the cup maybe, no. How about on the stick? There we go. So here is it inside of its enclosure, guys, as you can see. So if you have any name suggestions for this little spiny flower mantis, as well as my other mantises, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. So yeah, that's the end of today's video, guys. Let's get into the outro, shall we? So that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the unboxing and rehousing of my spiny flower mantis. I've been wanting spiny flowers for a very, very long time, and I'm very, very happy that I finally have one in my collection. And as I said in the last clip, if you guys have any name suggestions for any of my mantids, please let me know down in the comments below. I will be looking through, and if I do choose one that you suggest, I will mention you in the next video. So that's all from me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate if you clicked the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you don't miss out on future content. I'd also really appreciate if you guys would follow me on Instagram, Jeremy's World World underscore. The username will be down in the description below. I post videos and photos of the animals and inverts I keep when I don't upload on YouTube. So that's all for me today, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.